Good morning, everyone. We are now in you uh, in Mill Park. So we're going to do our 50 kilometers ride today, uh, riding a loop from Mill Park and then all the way to uh, Fairfield and then turn back on Mar Murray Creek Trail. So are you ready to go? Um, yeah. Uh, we're missing some. Where's Hugo? Oh, he's sick. You forgot? Oh, yes. Mm. Anyway, it's going to be just two of us. So by the way, where's your mix helmet? <laughs> where's your helmet? Huh? <laughs> All right, let's go. So this is considered a revenge ride because last time we did have a due to my snap uh, derrier hanger so we're gonna complete this time for 50 kilometers it's very cold in the morning now i reckon it's around 16 or 17 degrees so since last time that i already introduced half of this route so i'm not going to do uh, a lot more extra introduction just going to introduce some uh, the main one so apparently uh, the series of additional knowledge has comes to the end there's no more additional knowledge series for the time being so what i'm going to do is instead of doing a vlog regarding additional knowledge so i will put it in the right i will introduce history regarding uh, places that i rode past so first thing i'm going to say about is we are start at mill park mill park was named after mill park property owned by harry miller in the 19th centuries So now we are in Bandura, the suburb of Bandura. Original name used to call as Kill Bandura. It's an Aboriginal word, means a land of kangaroos. They renamed the suburb name into Janeville after Jane Brook due to a barista was found in the area. They renamed it back to Bandura, state of Kill Bandura, in recognized of the traditional name of the area. So now we are entering, uh, this is Western Ring Road Trail. So Derenburn Creek is on the right hand side now. So M80 Western Ring Road Trail is a 47 kilometers long trail link between our Grease Brook and Leverton North. Now we're crossing Derenburn Creek. Left hand side is my Western Ring Road. So we are crossing under Western Ring Road. This is Darabon Creek on my left. So now we're officially in uh, Darabon Creek Trail. So Darabon Creek Trail is a 27 kilometers trail. Uh, runs along Darabon Creek. Uh, it starts from the north end at Masarati Park in Iping and south end in Main Yara Trail in Kew East. So regarding the Darabon Creek, it's a slightly longer than the trail, 30 kilometers flows all the way from Yiping and join into Yara River in Kiwis and regarding the name of Darabun Darabun is Aboriginal word means shallow birds so this is Dunn Street on the dance street. Ah, this is my place. Oh my god! Wow! So this is suburb of Kingsbury. Kingsbury was named after a soldier, an Australian soldier, private Bruce Steve Kingsbury, who was died, uh, killed in action in World War One in Papua New Guinea and awarded a Victorian medal. So at the front is Plenty Road. We are going to cross under Plenty Road. Uh, Plenty Road was named uh, after uh, the region of Plenty, like Plenty Gorge, Plenty, Lower Plenty, and the river name Plenty River. So it is uh, one of the main routes to link the rural area of Vidasi and the suburb of Preston. So Plenty, the name, actually was named, uh, named by Joseph Ty Skelebun. He named the area because uh, when he surveyed the area, he found that there's a lot of plenty of uh, 
promising aspect. So he named the river Plenty River, and now it became the name of few places like Lower Plenty, Plenty Gorge, Plenty, and Plenty Road. So once we cross Plenty Road, we are now entering the suburb of Reservoir. So regarding this suburb of Reservoir, it was named Reservoir due to the tree. Preston Reservoir was first built in the area in 1863. Hot air balloon. So crossing Darabin Creek. And we are entering the suburb of Hyderabad West. So regarding Hyderabad West, it's actually similar to uh, Hyderabad. It was named because uh, it located the west side of the suburb of Hyderabad. The area was originally known as Moringa, a original word named for eagerness. And then it was renamed by Richard Brown after a German city, Hyderabad. In a mountain, yeah. <laughs> it's consistent. So we are approaching Bell Street. We're going to cross under Bell Street and reach to Bell, suburb of Bellfield. So Bell Street was named after Francis Bell. He is a he used to own a property in the local area known as Bell Mano. And then now we are in the suburb of Belfield. Belfield named after its boundary, Bell Street. This is a young suburb, gathered in the year of 2000. Originally part of Heidelberg West. So now crossing Derivan Creek, we are entering the suburb of Trombury. So this suburb of Trombury was named after Trombury Estate, owned by Job Smith. So now we are in the suburb of Elfington. This is where I fall down, up there. Huh? This is where I fall down last time. Really? Yeah, up there. We went up today? Nah, we go here, we came from down here. Remember we fold it and then a few more and then I step my Delaria. This is the place I step my Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, step my Delaria and I have to oh my God. abandon here. Finally we, we passed it. We finally we passed what we did last time. Nice. So this is the suburb of Alfington. The suburb of Alfington was named by an Australian judge, politician, Chancellor of University of Sydney, Sir William Mannings, after his uh, birthplace in England, Alfington in England. I reckon we did faster than last time. Go to the side, go to the side. Yeah. Ah! So later on, we we'll get off this track and start to do a little bit of road to connect to Murray Creek Trail. Yeah, I think maybe I should lead from here. So we're gonna do some road riding. Oh, that's actually a bypass. Eh? <laughs> so we just crossed Grand Road, and now we are entering the suburb of Fairfield. So Fairfield was named after Fairfield in England. So regarding who named Fairfield, there's no official history recorded. I'll show you this. Do you see that Nikos? Where? Nikos. Where? It's the best, right there. At the front? Yeah, yeah. Oh. See the black one. Is there a restaurant or cafe? Ah, uh, cafe. Ah. Oh. Kind of like restaurant too at night. You want to get a coffee? All right. Yeah. All right. Let's All go. Right. Coffee time. Woo! With my date. Cheers. Yeah. 
Is that good? Mm. How about some brownies from Kevin? Oh yeah. <laughs> so at the meantime, this is uh, Fairview Station. Fairview Station is a historical station, used to be part of uh, the Steam Era uh, Outer Circle Line. Anyway, let's go. It's not an arrow. James got one of those. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a photo. They yeah. Photo something. Yep. On top of the roof. So now we are in the suburb of North Coast. So the suburb of North Coast was named by uh, Surveyor General Sir Andrew Clark. He named it after a British parliamentarian, Henry Stratford North Coast. So this is Dennis Station. Dennis Station was named after William Dennis. A uh, local councillor who served Northcote Council for more than 40 years. So they named it Dennis Station in honour of William Dennis. So this is Westcott Station. Uh, originally was known as Westcott Road due to the road at the front. And then it was built in the year of 1888. So they renamed the station into Northcote South after a few, year, a few months. But in the year of 1906, they renamed back into Westcott. So regarding Westcott, it was named after a historian and politician in the 19th century, William Westcott. So we are now entering Murray Creek Trail. It's a 21 kilometers trail at the moment because it's ex keep expanding to the north side. So Murray Creek Trail was uh, floating at the moment from the north side of Western Ring Road all the way to uh, Vickers Fall in Yarra River. Uh, this trail flows along Murray Creek. Murray Creek is a 70 kilometers creek, flows all the way from Valand to Yarra River. So. The meaning of Murray is an Aboriginal word, means rocky. This trail is nice, you're gonna like it. So now this is a St. George route, one of the busy routes in Melbourne. So crossing St. George route, re-entering into Murray Creek Trail, but now we are in the suburb of Fitzroy North. So okay, crossing in. Yeah, just be careful, yeah? Be very careful. Uh, I think, yeah, here. So talk about Fitzroy North. It's named Fitzroy North because it's located at the north side of Fitzroy. Uh, Fitzroy is a his very historical suburb because it is the first suburb in Melbourne history. Originally known as Newtown. It was named after the governor of New South Wales, Sir Charles Augusto Fitzroy. So on my right hand side, this is Murray Creek. So on my left hand side, this is Sumner Park. Crossing this park, you're actually entering the suburb of Brunswick East. So regarding Brunswick East, quite obvious. It was named due to the east location being on the east side of Brunswick. Regarding the name origin of Brunswick, it was named after Caroline of Brunswick, who was the estranged wife of King George number four. This trail will be a lot more scenic than uh, Darabin. It's like you're going through the jungle. You actually feel more chill on this trail because it's like in a valley. Yeah. Yeah. You see, like you, you like you're going the jungle, yeah? yeah. You doesn't feel like you're in the city now. Really? Yeah. You're actually in Brunswick. Imagine Brunswick, how how crowded with people, and then now you see like behind the Brunswick. Oh 
let's go before it gets too hot. now so you will see the trees getting shorter and shorter and, and become more grassland so this is a suburb of Preston Preston was named by Everwood who came from sunset of England he named me after a town in Sunset of England, Preston. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Now crossing Murray Creek again. Huh? Take a photo here. Remember I told you last time I say Durban Creek just alright, but once you start on riding on Murray Creek, you will wow, you like it. I know yeah, you will like that's it. It's beautiful. And see there's a community garden as well. So now we are in the suburb of Colbrook. Colbrook was originally known as Pandridge. Pandridge was originally named by Henry Ford after his wife birthplace. Pandridge, and then it was renamed into uh, Colbrook by Robert Mueller. He named it after Alfred Ernest Albert, who was also the Duke of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha. Yeah, that's why I keep encouraging him to come. But he's not ready. I said, take your time. Don't worry. Don't rush yourself. Last time I, I actually stopped here and watched. So the junior players. So you train in the area now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We playing some games. Who knows? Maybe one of the future soccerers will be from here. Can I take a photo here? Wow, you won't believe your nature, eh? Yeah. Imagine, yeah. You look at the street there. You see how crowded is it? Yeah. yeah. You was riding here. You hear nothing about cars. Yeah, yeah. That's why this is what I say, like running away from hustle bustle that's right but you're not traveling far yeah yeah <laughs> all right ready all right okay let's go Yeah. We can take a photo here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. So we actually plan to do this revenge little ride a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, we cancelled due to uh, heavy rain. So this ride is actually riding along two main creek, Darabin Creek and uh, Murray Creek. At the time, we're lucky we cancelled because both of the creek is flooded. So most of the trail is unacceptable because of the flood. So today is lucky, good weather. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we arrive at Coburg Links. So this is a good park for you to relax a bit. Some good sculpture, statue. <laughs> right out of gas. Petrol too expensive. <laughs> so currently we are at the suburb of Faulkner. Faulkner was originally known as Box Forest, named by John Pasco Faulkner. And then it was renamed by John Dukes to Faulkner in honor of John Pasco Faulkner due to he was a pioneer of the area during the early settlement. When you know going up, yeah? It comes a bit slow. Yeah, you when just you say going up, that's when I change my... You should <laughs> you should push as much as you can. Yeah. When you start going up, when, don't don't wait until you really can't do it. Slowly turn. When you start to feel struggle a bit, yeah, yeah. turn lower, lower, lower. lower, lower you see? Lower. The timing, once yeah. you get the timing, you'll be alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you see when I go to the I can't even go lower. Yeah. And I, I start to stand, stand up. up. I struggle to stand up. Battle. Try. Yeah. Try on flat roof first. Yeah. Get the feeling and then. I never done like standing up for a long, long, long time. Yeah. So when I do it, it just doesn't feel comfortable. <sighs> on a mountain bike I can. But on a road because, bike. Because of the Porsche, because you go lower as well. Yeah, yeah. You I struggle to the really more, push. The more you practice, yeah, you're yeah. right. So where are we now? Ah, uh, this is Faulkner. Huh? Faulkner. Already? Yeah. So the next one will be in. Well, the next one will be Thomas Town and then we'll be in. Uh, uh, Bandura again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Your energy is still good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Oh. They did some maintenance on this trail? Yeah. Hey. This is the suburb of Thomastown and then Western Ring Road is on my left hand side. You see the footpath closed just now. That's the extension part of the Murray Creek Trail. They're still building it. By the moment they closed because they upgrade the Western Ring Road. So regarding this suburb of Thomastown, it was named after Mary and John Thomas, Rocky Garden in the area. We are now riding on a M80 Western Ring Road Trail. See the bridge there? There's a crossing into Hume Freeway. So Hume Freeway, named after Hamilton Hume, one of the early explorers of in Australia. It is a main route to connect between Melbourne and Sydney. Come on, you can do it. You still can do it. Don't give up, don't give up. Almost there, almost there. Yep, yep. Almost there. Almost there. Come on, give in. You're not old, you're still young. Come on. Oh yeah. Good job, Gavin. Woo! Oh. Woo! Good oh. job, man. Okay, so we are at the top of the bridge so this is a federation trail bridge no sorry this is actually western ring road trail bridge the new one they just uh redo it i think not very sure so this freeway 
Western Ring Road. So you see at the front, turning here north, there's the Hume Freeway. And on the other side, at the front of the bridge, is Elga Road. Yeah, I got plenty. I bring four. You know, like we can afford to do things that we want to do, go out, travel. You gonna kill it? Yeah. Alright, let's just take it easy. Alright? Yeah. I think I was going a bit fast before, yeah? You did you did quite fast actually just now. I didn't even know there's a trail there. Yeah. Along the freeway. Ah. That's why it's called M80 Freeway because they ride along the M80. Ah, okay. Yeah, this trail a lot of crossing this kind of road. That's why I don't really like it. JD is all you see. That's yeah, that's why. That's why you can't see. You can't <laughs> see the the trail. You know there's something behind. <laughs> Get back into Darabin Creek Trail. Meanwhile, oh my God, not again, Gavin. Where are you, Gavin? Oh, oh, you're here. You're right. Are you right there? Cramp. Oh, cramp. Oh, no good. I think I got a rest. Yeah. You feel cramp? Yeah, take a rest, take a rest. You start to cramp or what? Huh? Cramp? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just rest. Very good. Good wife. <laughs> Brownies, croissant, and barbecue. Can't complain. How about your sandwich? Don't forget. Mmm, sounds mm. good. Got mayonnaise too, yeah? Mmm. Yeah. You know what? This is our favorite sandwich always. Yeah? And when you make it, it's always tuna, mayonnaise, and lettuce. Mm. Easy. Yeah. And give you energy as well. Mm. 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 So since the, we are having a rest, I'm going to introduce our bike here today. The bike at the back, the orange color one is mine. Uh, Polygon Stratos S2. And the one at the front, the yellow one, the sexy one, is belong to Gavin. The giant PCR2. A few days later. Let's go, yeah? As long as we achieve our goal, we're happy, then that's, that's the main thing. If you go this one, you go back to Charles Road. So can't believe we're back in the stable of Mill Park, the historical building. So now it's a shopping area. It used to be a real horse stable. Ah. No feeding ducks. No swimming or diving. Who is going to dive in there? So this the uh, red lip, red lip lake, yeah. Yeah, red lip lake, I think. Yeah, red lip lake. Yeah. So it's just a nice little area. And what yeah. we do, we ride our bike around the lake. See how they got all the trails there. Yep. Okay. Nice. What a bit of exercise. Yeah, a lot of lips there now. Yeah. That's why I see. I thought from far it looked like a field. Yeah. Or a football it used to be field. Clear, maybe because of the rain. Right? Yeah. yeah. So this is deep but water. <laughs> All right, we're back to Gavin House in Mill Park. So we complete 50 kilometers and we use uh, around 2 hours and 50 minutes. That's for uh, moving time, not including all the talking time and coffee. Coffee time. <laughs> So, was good? You like it? Yes, it's good. Yeah, it was good. So this is a 50 kilometers ride 
to get uh, gave in to get use of the ride on road bike before we head to Great Ocean Road for the 60 kilometers challenge. Oh well, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you on my next adventure. Wait, 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 wait. What? Don't forget to subscribe to the video, like, and share with everyone. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Bye bye. By the way, for next week. Today I'm riding with Chris at Windermill. The name Yu Yang comes from, okay, this one, oh. Crossing the Lollipop Creek. Like a lake now. <laughs>